Hi, I'm Ian Crosby, CEO of Sequana Medical, and I'm delighted to be talking about our Heart Failure DSR program today. Heart failure is a progressive disease, and most people think of the elderly person struggling to walk down the road or climb stairs because the heart is unable to pump enough blood. But this is not what causes most hospital admissions for these patients. When the heart fails to pump properly, the body responds by accumulating sodium. The body then retains water to maintain the correct concentration of sodium in the blood. This fluid accumulates all across the body, in the arms, the legs and the neck. And in many cases, the fluid collects in the lungs and patients end up in hospital feeling like they are drowning. This fluid accumulation is what leads to 90% of the hospitalizations for these patients, the poor quality of life and the high healthcare costs. Diuretics are the most common treatment for fluid overload, but in many cases they stop being effective. Studies have shown that up to 40% of heart failure patients on intravenous loop diuretics have a poor response and the fact that one in four are readmitted within 30 days of discharge shows that a better treatment is needed. This is our opportunity for the Alpha Pump DSR. Diuretic resistant heart failure with volume overload costs healthcare systems around the world a huge amount of money. Consider the following facts. One million people in the US each year are hospitalized due to heart failure. 90% of these are due to volume overload. And one in four of these patients are back in hospital within 30 days. And the annual cost of heart failure related hospitalizations in the US is estimated at $13 billion.